and let the next U.S. Senate and President get seated and then process this Governor nomination. Carol, the question was how many justices should there be on the court? Oh, well, I tell you what, the rhetoric that comes out of Washington, it's so divisive. And as I travel this state, Iowans want it to end. I've been clear all along that I don't support packing the courts, if that's what you call it. So, so you stand, you want six, nine judge, justices on the court. You want it to stay nine. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that is our uh, institution and our tradition, and I don't support it. Sold out Iowans I in general to, by taking this $2 question million is about dollars in corporate affordable PAC donations. Care. It's about what you want to do to improve health care. It's not about... I don't want to hear a criticism of her. I want to hear what you want to do. Well, going behind closed doors to gut Social Security. Mm -hmm. And I said, no way. And I got in this race. I want so, grannies so to what know what I got help? their back. That doesn't What's your answer suggestion her question. Of making it more solvent. Make sure that the largest corporations and the very wealthiest pay their fair share. But there's a couple immediate that, things that we that can does, do. Excuse me, Teresa Pass Greenfield. the SWIFT that, Act, making sure. I need to interrupt. You're not answering surviving her question. Surviving get the the benefits they have earned. Uh, you're not, you didn't answer a question. How do you keep it sound? Let me ask specifically. Do you raise the retirement age? Do we increase, lift the cap above $138,000 uh, a year? Dave, I will look at so many things for students to participate in programs where they can work off their student debt, whether they're medical professionals or young farmers that want to come back and get started in farming. Senator Ernst should make enough money to pay my rent and bills. So investing is something that we need to do. So does that Second, mean getting rid of student debt or does that mean renegotiating the interest rate on student debt? So investing in education, and then next we need to make sure that students... Kay Henderson has the next question here. Do you Kay support Henderson. a path to citizenship for people who came into the country illegally? We need to uh, modernize our immigration system. Does that I, mean a path to citizenship? And I have talked to business leaders who want to welcome families are together, they come together, and that they put down roots. No more kids in cages. So does that mean a path to citizenship, or does that mean legal status? That means that we're working on those paths to citizenship, and for our dreamers, they need... How do you feel about it? What do we do about the post office? Well, the post office is one of the most beloved services in our country and certainly in our state. You know, it keeps us connected. It ensures that whether you are a senior or you're a veteran, you're able to get your uh, medicines delivered. So many small businesses uh, rely no, on no, it. No, no, but I mean, what do you do to and keep it sound? That's what I'm getting at. Yes. Privatize and it? Right now, absolutely not. So, Teresa Greenfield, would you raise the gas tax to do that, or would you raise a per-mile fee on vehicles? You know, I think that what I want to make sure is I'll look at all kinds of avenues to work towards raising that minimum wage. My priority, frankly, is living wages, is investing in a way so people can get the skills. I was talking the about skills. the gas tax. Yes, gas tax. get those skills to start their careers. The gas tax. Infrastructure. And She's talking start about infrastructure. Their... Senator Ernst, thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> um, I want to support more of a legal residency and see how easy it is to be very direct about an answer.